Hi everyone, welcome to today's tutorial. We're solving question 11 from tutorial sheet 3. And we're going to be discussing on the types of roots um, under this question. Yeah. And then for those that have not yet subscribed to my channel, kindly do so so that you also support me as I'm also helping you to solve uh, these uh, problems. Okay. So now we quickly move on to we quickly move on to the first question there. The question is telling us to find the roots of each quadratic equation subject to the conditions that have been given. Okay, so we use the sums and the, the, the sum and the product of roots. So we know to say when you're adding two roots, alpha and beta, the solution that you uh, you are supposed to get is just equivalent to uh, negative b over a and then when you are multiplying two roots alpha times beta you get c over a so now our two roots that we've been given there according to the condition that has been uh, provided in the question is that our first root is alpha and then our second root is just the reciprocal of the other so meaning our second root is just one over alpha so now if we are to add alpha plus alpha sorry alpha plus one over alpha since these are the two roots that we've been given let me just write it properly so if we're adding alpha and one over alpha the the solution that we are supposed to get uh, should be equivalent to negative b over a so negative b our negative b there would just be negative four okay minus oh sorry negative four minus four okay four minus Okay, okay, and then over our a is 2k plus 2. Yes, and then if we are multiplying, then if we multiply the two roots alpha and 1 over alpha, we're going to have alpha multiplied by 1 over alpha this one will give us a uh, k minus 2 over a which is 2k plus 2 then when you multiply alpha times alpha there and alpha, alpha times 1 over alpha you just get a 1 so here we can now find the value of k just from this part here so if we want to cross multiply there we're going to have k minus 2 uh, being equal to 2k plus 2 so then when you simplify these expressions you discover that your value of k will be equal to when this k goes to the other side of the equal sign we're going to have k as our answer 2k minus k give us k and then these two goes to the other side we're going to get negative 4 we're going to get negative 4 so already we have found the value of k what we're just remaining with now is to find the value of alpha so when you multiply i mean when you add the two here when you add the two alphas there we're going to have something like so this is what we're going to have. The common denominator will be alpha. And then we're going to have alpha squared. Uh, alpha squared plus one. Alpha squared plus one being equal to. Uh, this other side where the scale will be putting negative four. So I'll say my negative outside and then i have my four minus then there's one well, there is uh four i'll put negative four so negative four times negative four i'll get 16 so this would be positive 16 
I've just replaced where they supposed to be K. I'm putting negative 4. So it's giving me positive 16. And then everything divided by where there is K on the denominator, I'll also put negative 4. So negative 4 times 2 will give me negative 8 plus 2. I'll get negative 6 like that. So let me just, um, so this negative and that negative on the denominator can cancel. So this will just remain as uh, 20. Let me just write it properly here. So I'm going to have alpha squared plus 1 over alpha being equal to, this will be 20 over 6. So 20 over 6, when we reduce it to its lowest uh, form, is just the same as 10 over Three. Yeah, so 4 plus 16 gives you 20. 20 divided by 2 will give you 10. 6 divided by 2 will give you 3. So here it's just a matter of multiply, uh, cross multiplying. So I'm going to have 3 alpha uh, squared plus and then plus uh, 3 being equal to uh, alpha times 10 will give you 10 alpha. So if you look at this, this is a quadratic equation. So it's just a matter of uh, us um, uh, solving this quadratic equation. So we'll have something like this. This is what we're going to have. Is equal to zero. So what two numbers can we multiply? and get 9 and then when we add them we're going to get negative 10 i think it's negative 1 and negative uh, 9 so so we're going to have something like this negative alpha negative 9 alpha sorry yeah negative 9 alpha then plus 3 being equal to zero so from there what we do now is we just simplify and find the value of alpha so alpha open bracket so we're going to have three alpha minus one and then negative uh three we have three alpha minus 1 being equal to 0 so when you simplify this quadratic equation we are going to have so when you simplify this quadratic equation you are going to have uh, 3 alpha minus 1 okay yes so when you simplify this you are going to have another set of a factor which is uh, alpha minus uh, 3 so which is equal to 0 so the roots of the equations that have been well, that we are told to find uh, so when you get this to 0 you get your alpha to be equal to 1 over 3 and then another alpha that you have will just be equal to 3. So basically these are the roots that, uh, these are the values of alpha, rather these are the roots that uh, we've been asked to find. If you see, the question was saying the roots are reciprocal of each other. So meaning if one alpha is 3, the other one should be 1 over 3. Same apply this is the condition that we had written here okay and this tells us to say uh, what we found is a correct answer let us now quickly move on to b so b is saying this and that has equal roots meaning uh, the roots that you find after after doing us this after solving the quadratic equation you get uh, the equal roots meaning you have the same you have the same answers meaning you're going to have if your x is equal to alpha your other x will also be alpha 
so this one has many ways in which you can solve it you can also use um, okay let us just use the same method that i used in the first question but you can also use the discriminant so we know to say addition of two roots which is alpha plus beta so in this case i'm adding alpha and alpha since i have two alphas is always supposed to give me negative b so when you look at this quadratic equation uh, i think this i think there was an error somewhere they were supposed to put x somewhere yeah oh it's there x is there i didn't see it all right so if you look at this quadratic equation when you add uh, two roots so what is the, mo the most important thing to do here i think the first thing that we're supposed to do is to uh, simplify this expression so how do we now simplify that let me just simplify it from there and then x times x there you get x squared and then x times k you get uh, x times k you get kx so you're going to have something like this and then another x times k you get another kx okay so meaning this is when you add to a kx plus another kx you just get 2x let me just write it in advance here so you get 2kx and then k times k there you get k squared then this we are saying it's equal to uh, 2 minus 3 k so when we take this k squared to the other side of the equal sign to be negative k squared all right so this simply means that we delete this one here okay we delete this one there so this is what we're going to have and then Okay, so this is what we're going to have, and then, so, we now bring these constants to this other side of the equal sign, meaning we're going to have, when these crosses the equal sign come here, I would have just brought uh, 2 minus 3k this side, instead of taking the k squared on that side. So, this is what we're going to have, we're going to have negative 2 minus 3k minus... Uh, k squared okay, let me just remove everything minus k squared sorry I think this is now supposed to be this one will be minus and then this one will be positive then that other one will also be positive k squared like that being equal to zero yeah so that is after uh, taking them to the other side of the equal sign so this is our constant there yeah. so I've simplified it so now it's just a matter of me uh, putting in the correct so when I add two roots alpha and alpha I'm supposed to get negative b so my negative what is my b my my b is 2k so to be negative 2k over my a is uh, one so my a is one the coefficient of x squared so in short two alpha is just equal to negative two k in other words alpha is just equal to uh, negative k okay so we now move on to the multiplication of roots so so when you multiply two roots alpha and another alpha you have to get c over a so my c is just this part which is the constant part plus 3k plus k squared then everything divided by a which is 1 so when i divide this by 1 I still come back to the same thing so meaning my alpha squared this side is going to be equal to negative 2 plus negative 2 plus 3k and then plus k 
care squared. And then we, have, we know to say alpha is just equal to negative k squared. So meaning where there is a, so in other words, since we are looking for alpha, let us not con let us not concentrate on k. So meaning let's make k the subject so that we find alpha. K is just going to be negative alpha. So meaning where there is k, we can put negative alpha. So we're going to have alpha squared being equal to negative two plus three times negative alpha will give me negative three alpha. While there is k, I'm putting negative alpha. So I'm going to have negative three alpha. And then while there is k, I'm putting negative alpha. So that will just remain the same. It will just be alpha squared. Because negative alpha squared, I will still get alpha squared. And then when I take this alpha squared to the other side of the equal sign, this and that are going to cancel. So meaning I'm just going to remain with negative three alpha uh, being equal to sorry negative three alpha uh, minus two being equal to zero so meaning our root that we are finding is simply just uh, negative two over three yeah so this is the root this is the value of alpha so this is the value of alpha so to see this may even be the root let's try if let's try to see if it can if it's the root yeah anyway actually there isn't even the need of us to do us this to prove because we assumed to say x is equal to alpha and we said our alpha is our root meaning the answer that we get is basically the root that is needed all right we quickly move on to the next question okay so the next question is uh the next question is this uh k squared uh kx squared minus this plus that is equal to zero has the sum of its root equal to twice the product so in other in other in other ways what they are saying is the sum of its roots meaning alpha plus uh, beta is equal to twice its product you find your alpha times beta yeah so what i was saying is uh, according to this question the question is saying it has the sum of its roots equal to twice its product of its roots so meaning when you add the sum when you add the two roots uh the answer that you get is just two times the product of its roots so meaning um to find to find this you first have to find alpha plus beta you also have to find alpha times beta in the same way that we've been doing these other questions so once you find them you replace them there find the value of k and then finally come and find the value of alpha and beta by using this same um, relationship which is here all right thank you very much for watching today's tutorial uh see you in the next tutorial shalom shalom